What's going on, sweet gang? It's your girl, Rochelle, coming back with another tutorial that I know you guys is going to love. This is a color that a lot of people have a hard time achieving, and we are going to go over the color black in this video. So if you are new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because you do not want to miss what I'm giving, and I'm giving life to you today as I always do. And for my subscribers that have been with me, hey, welcome to your sweet connection where you will be connected. And what we have, we gonna get into the video. So what I'm gonna go over is the supplies that I have is, um, let's go over the recipe. So we got four cups of sugar, a cup of water, and one cup of light carol syrup. I have my two Granny Smith apples that have been washed and removed of wax. And I have my gel food coloring, which is coil black. Coil black. And I have my Loran oil flavoring, which is cake batter, which is one of the ones I really love because it's good. And I have my uh, 400 degree spoon that will be able to hold the heat of this candy mixture because it gets very, very hot. I have my candy thermometer and my slip mat. You want to make sure you have a slip mat, which is this purple mat that you see here and you may see in all of my videos. Um, but it once you get done dipping it gives that um, perfect bottom um, depending on how you um, place it on the mat you have to place it and make sure that all the extra um, candy uh, mixture is off the apple before placing it on this mat so if you're ready to get connected let's get into the video all right so in this medium pot here that we have, I'm going to go ahead and add the one cup of water. One cup of water. Okay. And then you want to go ahead and add your four cups of sugar. Four cups of sugar then you want to go ahead and add your one cup of light carol syrup one cup of corn syrup and go ahead and get all of that in there make sure you Take your spoon and spoon out all the syrup to go into your pot, okay? So we're going to get all of that in there. Okay. Then we're going to mix very well. You want to set your stove on medium high heat and I am going to add the color at the end of this mixture okay and what I'm going to do different in this video is add the two teaspoons of vinegar white vinegar a lot of people ask why you add white vinegar um vinegar it's actually just a boost of shine that's all it is it really doesn't matter if you add it or not I just want to show you all what is the difference when adding that um, what really makes your apples shine is the sugar content and the um, syrup it depends on your recipe and the recipe that I just gave you um, without the vinegar really gives it a shine but adding the 
extra vinegar I mean a adding the white vinegar I'm gonna show you what it's going to do okay so I'm gonna go ahead add my candy thermometer we want to place the thermometer on the side of the pot where the tip is not touching the bottom of the pot because the bottom of the pot it heats up first and we do not want to give our thermometer um, a different reading than it what it what is supposed to be so we want to place our candy thermometer right on the side taking the clip and just pressing it down to where you just eyeball it to where it's right at the tip of the mixture and not touching the bottom of the pot. And once again, set your stove um, on medium high heat. If you are working on a hot plate, you want to turn it up because it do takes long up on high. It do takes long to um, cook your mixture. And keep in mind, this video is edited. So it do take time to cook out your mixture. I don't want you guys to think like, oh my God, well she was done. Why is it taking so long? No, video is edited for the time that um, it takes. So once we get to our 250 degrees, I will come back with, to you to add the flavor. So while we wait on the mixture to reach to reach to 250 degrees, I want to show you um, about the white white residue that is on the apples that you see in my videos. Okay, um, I'm going to show you that this is nothing but extra residue from the wax um, from cleaning your apple. If you just take um, some paper towel okay you don't have to wet it but if you just take it and beginning to rub your apple it comes off okay this is why it's important that your apples should be pre-washed before dipping and it should be sitting your apple should be sitting 24 to 48 hours I recommend to do a full 48 hours because then you will have perfect bubble free apples if you dip them correctly so I just wanted to show you all that this white residue can come off okay as you see here and I always wipe my apples before I dip. Um, during the process that they are sitting out for 48 hours, you want to wipe them still. You want to, to wipe the sticky residue, which is little sap. Um, it looks like um, bubbles or it looks like the apple could be sweating. That is nothing but white. I mean, uh, that's sap. Wipe it off. And please wipe off every apple or you will have bubbles you will have bubbles if it's not properly wiped. okay so I just wanted to show you that it do come off okay I have dipped my apples with the white residue and ha haven't had any problems having bubbles but I just wanted you all to know because when doing these apples, it's a lot of things that happen and a lot of people that have questions. And I just wanted to show you and give you all of what you may encounter. Okay? So I didn't get all of it, but you see it comes off. You don't have to wet it. If you wet it, it's still not going to come off. It's just a dry paper towel and wipe okay so I'll be back when we reach our temperature 250 degrees all right sweet peeps I am going to go ahead and add a cap full of white vinegar it is not at 
250 but I'm just going to add a cap full of white vinegar I want to add the vinegar before I add my flavor okay and that's just a cap full of vinegar at roughly about 225 I'll be back when we hit 250 okay so again we are back at 250 degrees and I am going to add my favorite flavor cake batter so to this mixture I do not add the whole bottle I add four to five drops which is only four to five drops left in this bottle four to five drops to this mixture you want to let it go ahead and cook till it get to 300 degrees you remove your mixture at 300 degrees no more than that do not take it off before 300 degrees because then your candy mixture may start to um, break down this recipe calls for it to reach the hard rock stage which it will read on the back of your thermometer um, soft hard rock but we wanted to get to the hard rock stage which is at 300 degrees and we will add the color at the end so I will see you when it gets time to add color all right sweet gang it's that time we're gonna remove this candy mixture it has got to 300 degrees and I just want to show you exactly what that looks like. Ooh. If you can see that blue line. But it has reached 300 degrees. When you do take your thermometer out, you want to make sure you put it in a cup of water so that uh, candy can soften. And if you look at the mixture, it did turn brown, so you don't panic. But you don't want it to be too brown, so you want to make sure you remove it at 300 degrees. Now, this is the black I use. You do not have to add white. And I add enough of it because I want it to be black. Okay? So as I add and add and add this is how I get my black color okay mixing it where it's going to come out smooth oh uh, it's so it's black I can't tell if it's transparent or not so I want to make sure that I mix it really well. Okay. So I'm mixing until I see the bubbles subside. That means I'm mixing till the bubbles settle. Okay, now I'm going to let my bubbles settle before I dip. Letting them settle, settle, settle. Making sure you guys can see this wonderful outcome. Sit my apples over here. Tilting your pot to where your mixture runs to the one corner of your pot holding it at an angle people hold like this and dip till you get comfortable that you're good at dipping do not take a long time to dip because your candy mixture will harden so going in, going in as so removing the candy mixture and if you notice in this video 
I have turned my apples upside down. Okay. And one more time for the black. Dipping it as so. Going down. Turn. I like my apples to be totally covered. And if you see that shine. That shine. I can see myself through the apple. So you want to view these pictures, go to um, my Facebook page, Your Sweet Connection. Go to my Instagram, Your Sweet Connection, and you will see the reflection of this shine in the video. Scraping the bottom. And placing it. On your slip mat and there you have it black apples all right sweet gang it's your girl Rochelle signing out it's been real I came and I gave you life and if you're new to my channel go ahead and subscribe to that button down below if you like this video and it helped you give it a thumbs up comment in the comment sec comment section tell me what you guys think and if you want more let me know well that's what i was saying i will be back for more so you guys have a blessed day and enjoy this video ro will be back for more bye bye